hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to be learning how to make this shorts i hope you enjoy this video and please if you are watching and you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so from my previous video i showed in detail how you can get the crouch of your pants so i'm just going to go ahead and take my waist measurement and my hip measurement so i would drop that the link of that video in the description box so the length of my shorts is going to be 18 inches but i took away two inches for the band and so i have 16 plus two inches allowance and then my hip measurement is nine and a half and i'm adding half inch allowance which makes it 10 so the 10 inches i'm going to take it to the waist exactly the 10 inches i'll take it to the waist and then add half an inch allowance you know we want this to be wide enough to go across the hip since we are not using zip so for the tie i'm going in with one and a half so for the lap my lap is 24 inches divided into two so that is 12 inches and then for the lower part of the lap i reduced it to 22 inches that is 11 inches so you go ahead and after marking this you connect your measurements and then cut it out So we're done with the front and we place the front on top of the back to get the back. We are marking one inch allowance. This is for the seaming allowance. As you can see, we have already raised the back up by two inches. To get details on it, please go to the pants tutorial video, which I'm going to drop on the description box. Then I'll be adding two inches allowance to my tie and then connect it to get the crouch of the back so next we are going to cut the pocket the length of my pocket is 12 inches and then the width is seven plus the one inches allowance i added so this seven i'm marking is where the pocket is going to be open from you can use your palm to measure it but it's always about around seven inches so i'll go in with two inches to make a slant and then i'll connect the two lines together and cut it out So as you can see, I have seven inches with one inch for the sewing allowance. Your band measurement is your waist divided by two and one inch allowance. Then, since we are cutting it on four, this is six inches. If you fold it, it will give you three inches. Then the one inch allowance is what we use to sew it with. So the first thing we did was to join our crouch for the front so that we can fix our pocket. So you place your pocket like this. You can first of all, so this part this is the outer part the part that is going to be showing outside so you then fold it after you fold it separately then this is how you're going to join this pocket on the trouser 
you can iron this if it will be difficult for you to get it so first of all fold this part before we go ahead and join the other part of the pocket so our pocket is finished now as you can see then the next thing we do is to take the back of course after sewing the crouch of the back we are going to be joining the sides of the shorts both sides so we take it to our sewing machine now to join the sides So the next thing we are going to fix our band while fixing the back the band the back is going to be facing the front so that by the time we turn it sew it round and turn it we'll have the front facing the front now i hope you understand that so we're just going to take it to the machine and sew it round So if after sewing the first line round, this is how it looks like, and then we turn it like this and fold it again. So I decided to do this so you guys will understand what I was talking about then. So we fold it like this and sew it round. But then you have to leave an opening so that you can pass our elastic. You know we are going to use an elastic waist. So you leave about two inches. So we are going to be marking one inch round the waist from where we left our two inch opening. We are going to be sewing around. That is where our elastic is going to be sitting on. So after doing that, now we have sewn our one inch round we are going to be passing the elastic around the waist with the help of a safety pin but before then i've made this little belt holder since we are going to be using a belt with this short i'm going to be placing two in front two at the side and then two at the back i'll be sewing this first before i pass my elastic round So I've done that now and then what's left is to just take your safety pin and pass your elastic round. So guys, the shot is almost ready. What's left is to close up the middle, open the back and close up the middle. And then you fold the bottom of your shorts. So guys, that's pretty much it on how to make a basic shot with elastic. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe. For those that are watching without subscribing, please just do so right now. And like this video if you enjoy watching it thank you and see you on the next one